Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Let's have another Charlotte Mason chit chat. This video, I would like to kind of approach the idea of the seasonal Charlotte Mason feast of ideas atmosphere, all of that. Let's address that in this video. All right, so I kind of want to go back with the original thoughts that I, that kind of spurred the idea for this video, and that was kind of reflecting on um, the Little House books. And I think a lot of people that kind of follow the Charlotte Mason method have been inspired one way or another to do so because of Laura Ingalls and the way she learned and things like that. I know even Sonia Schaefer talked about how the Little House books gave her a living idea uh, for history and so on and so forth. And Laura definitely had the book learning, but she also had the life learning. And it was a well-balanced um, education. <laughs> so let's kind of talk about that um, in terms of seasons and lives. It's easy for me, and I've mentioned this in many videos, you can go ahead and check the playlist, I'll leave it linked down below for you. In many videos I have mentioned that it's just really hard for a mom of many to tackle all of those ideas, whether it be the nature walks, the Plutarch, the handicrafts, the habits, and all of those. And I, I kept reflecting on the Little House books, and especially in the thinking of how they influenced Charlotte Mason. You know, Ma Ingalls is probably one of those women that, you know, they always say which mother, which literature fiction mother inspired you. It would probably be Ma Ingalls. Um, she just had that gentle spirit that I really, um, I really admire. Um, not only was she taken away from family and the life she knew, she married a man who was just kind of a Ro Roman man. Like he just went wherever the wind called him and they left everything that they have established and went. And I know this is through the eyes of a child. And even that child would sometimes um, hear the mother, you know, Pa, let's, or Charles, let's not uh, scare the kids half to death just before bedtime kind of thing. So it's not like Ma was docile to the point where she didn't have an opinion. And the Indian story kind of tells us that all by itself. <laughs> but she, she had a way that she wanted them to live, you know, with the paper dolls and with Laura's, you know, nine patch quilts um, and all these things. It wasn't just the idea of we need these to survive it was to give her girls this whole atmosphere of ideas um, or the uh, the education with the atmosphere discipline in life like ma did that and as I was reflecting not only in that but how she did it with her girls how pa did it with the girls like he in Little House on the Prairie takes them out and they look for the beads and they look for the tracks and they identify different things and you know even Ma to a certain extent um, did what she could with the cooking and, and, and then all these things kind of made me think well wait a minute what about that long winter when there wasn't nature study and I kept thinking of the things that they did do all of those handcrafts and storytelling and things like that and then it, the idea blossomed into that seasonal um, Charlotte Mason Feast of Ideas. I wish I could come up with a more clever word for it. I had one and then I fell asleep and then I woke up and it was gone. Um, so as I'm talking to you I'm finishing up my knitting and it is a beautiful fall day right now. We are like two weeks away from Thanksgiving and actually two weeks today from Thanksgiving 
and it's you know the boys are outside they're tossing a football back and forth um my daughter's out right my little girl is out riding a bike my daughter is more just reading in the car because it's nice and quiet and she loves it and the evenings are now getting darker earlier and so it's actually very common to see more handcrafts picking up and I kept thinking yeah we're outside and we're enjoying it and then we're gonna end up in that season where the handcrafts end up being Christmas gifts as homemade as possible or just we don't have much else to do we're stuck inside we can play games or we could do our knitting my daughter ended up establishing a really good business here in town where she was knitting dishcloths for sale and then we learned how to make these little messy bun hats my younger daughter has been working on this and in order like it's not perfect stitching but it's adorable and it's on a little flower sack towel that we'll be able to use and we have an idea for a christmas one she's six years old but she's doing her own thing and she's practicing stitches and she's learning consistency and you know what it's why wouldn't I be proud of this? And it, I have no pattern. I literally just drew a pumpkin and wrote autumn on it. And she's gone to town. The boys have been a little bit more interesting lately. Um, they're handicrafts. Of course, I think of things like woodworking and so on and so forth. Um, but I can't do that. However, we are about ready to make this cross-country move. You will have the full update on that probably this next week. Um, as to what's going on but my husband and I are we're not taking much furniture if any at all I think we've got like a couple pieces that we want to bring that mean something to us or are really worthwhile um, to have and won't be easy to reproduce like my husband made this shoe rack that is specific for us and we have not seen anything like it so we want to keep it and um, that's pretty much it so but I was telling my husband I really would like to put some love, thought, and care into the furniture that we get now. Furniture is not passed down nowadays like it used to be. And I would like pieces of furniture that, you know, maybe I don't need a dresser that will get passed down for generations. But maybe the table that I would like you guys to make that's very simple, very basic, will um, delight one of, our, one of our children's homes one day. And so it's simple things like that that I'm just really starting to think more seriously about. Um, even if we bought a put your put it together yourself a bookshelf, as long as it was something that might maybe my boy did all by himself, that would be special to me. And those are the kind of handicrafts for the boys that I'm kind of thinking about into the future. They can do the paracord bracelets. They know how to do that. Some of these other things that they enjoy doing go for it. Um, we were trying to knit Harry Potter scarves at one point. Anyway, so we have, again, the seasonal um, feast of ideas. Right now, it's not the time to go um, do all of, it's not the time to do all of those Charlotte Mason ideas. But taking advantage of those opportunities when we can is another way to incorporate Charlotte Mason without having that, that checkbox mentality, which I did a video on, I'll leave a link down below, having that checkbox mentality of trying to meet everything every week all at once. So here is another idea, you know, your rotation of ideas. And you know what, in the winter time, it's a great time to have music on, little fireplace crackles or whatever, you know, during, beautiful wonderful days it's not really the time to put on those that music you just want to be outside and you want to enjoy it so um i'm not going to address plutarch in this one thank you so much for watching i hope this time with you kind of just gave you some simple ideas to kind of learn how to incorporate things insofar as handicrafts people do not assume that you need to knit or stitch in order to do a handicraft. This is a conversation I've literally just had with someone. What is a handicraft? A hand and a craft, something you make using your hands, okay? You can build computers and it's a handicraft. You can um, code and it's a handicraft. You can bake if that's your 
your forte, your, your specialty. You can bake, cook, those are all handicrafts. Don't assume that a handicraft is those old fashioned skills that are a little bit out of date nowadays. Okay. So anyway, on that note, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and good luck.